Welcome to Crowded Lab. Today, I'm excited to bring to your attention AI table.ai. I will do review and showcase of capabilities of this tool. And let me say, this is a real powerhouse. There are different kinds of software heating up some more. There could be a pretty simple one, but in case of AI table, this is a solid high quality software. You will be able to use it for your project management and CRM needs to manage your clients, customers. It is a direct competitor to Airtable. However, they consider themselves as a competitor to HubSpot in terms of CRM functionality and Monday.com in terms of project management functionality. And if we will compare pricing plans of direct competitor Airtable, so here we can see the first team plan starts as $20 monthly for one team member. And you're getting here 25,000 automation runs. And if we will check pricing plans for AI table, here for all plans you get unlimited seats. And if you need automations, then the second plan will give you 10,000 and license tier 3 will give you 50. And you can upgrade to have up to half a million of automations. So pretty good deal structure. And regarding functionalities, what can you get? You can build Kanban boards, Gantt charts for your project management needs. You can upload multimedia and files, of course. You will be able to build any data sheets, build forms out of those sheets, collect data from those forms, and the data will be auto-populated back to your sheets. You can create Q&A chatbots. Of course, you will be able to connect it to different integration software like Zapier and even active pieces. So in short, Airtable is your software to organize your data. And one interesting thing is that you can build chatbots from your data and integrate that into your website as a widget. All right, so let's jump straight to the demo of this tool. This is my workspace. And when I logged into the software, I was given few already created boards just to showcase the capabilities of this tool. And we are starting with Project Kanban board to manage your projects. Here we can see examples of different widgets. For example, this one shows the statuses of your tasks. For example, we can see here seven in progress. We will be able to add new widgets. Let's check the other board. Here we can see the list of the projects. We can manage each column. For example, here we can add different statuses. We can add something else besides planning or execution. So let's modify the status of this one and let it be a draft. Of course, we will be able to add new fields and add any data there. So we can insert a record like so. Yep. Let's check another board example. Here we can see our tasks for different projects. So we can update any data in any column. We can add a record and in this case it will be a task. We can make columns have different format. For example, in this case it is a date picker and you get the idea. Okay, so this was the example of a lightweight project management and task management system built from a spreadsheet. Let's go and see example of CRM system. Here is the example of some widgets. So here is the example of CRM database where you can track your leads and clients with a lot of data. Of course, you can edit all of the fields and add new ones. And what makes this software powerful is that you can add automations and different kinds of integrations. For example, you can build a form like this one. You can share that form 
So after your potential clients will be feeding that, the data will go back here. Let's actually test that. Here I've created public link. Let's copy and open that. Okay, here is the form. So now let me submit the data. Okay, so let's check our database. And here it is. Our new record is here. Here it is, this one. So someone can process that. So we can open a particular record like so for a better visibility. And here, for example, when someone will process that record, we can put that into a different category. And now we can see that here. What else can we do here? Another powerful feature of AI table is automation. Here we can create some. For example, when the form is submitted or the record is created, we can do some actions. Like we can send a web request. It can be sent to any integration software, I believe, to Zapier, to Active Pieces, Public Connect. So basically, you can send the data from the submitted form to any kind of automation you already have, or you can send a message to a Slack or send email notification. All right, so what else do we have here? We have another table, for example, to track your leads. Let's check what a copilot can do. I see this copilot as a tool that will be able to help you to find how to work with AI table if you have some questions. Let's see if we actually can build something with this. If we can, for example, duplicate a particular sheet. All right, so yeah, indeed, it is a chatbot that will be able to help you navigate through documentation of AI table. All right, so now let's explore some templates that this software provides. I think with this kind of software, it is a must have section because I believe no one will like to build complex or simple CRM system from scratch. So we have different categories, defined templates, for example, for request management. And the great thing here is that you are not only getting a particular spreadsheet, you're getting a full collection of spreadsheets that will help you to manage a particular task. For example, this is a form to collect a feedback or request in this case. And then you have different kinds of spreadsheets to visualize and collect the data and even have some widgets previewed so you can visualize the data. All right, one more interesting use case that I wanted to show you from the templates we can find AI dataset and actually you can create Q&A chatbot using AI table. If we choose this template, there is predefined sheet in form of question and answer. In this case, it is Q&A about AI table. So actually let's use that template. So now using this Q&A spreadsheet, we can go here and add new AI agent. Here it is. And we can actually train that on our Q&A data. So let's select our data here. OK. And here it is. Our agent is being trained on our Q&A data. OK, I think it's done. We can ask what is the AI table, for example. You're even getting some suggested questions, like do I need to retrain the chatbot when I'm modifying data in the datasheet? Let's check some settings. So we can have Q&A or chat. Oh, we can even change the model of agent. That's nice. You can set up response to unanswerable queries. Yep, and here we can set up to use form for data collection. This is a great feature. So you can add 
any custom form. So in this space, I don't have any, but you can create one and your chatbot will collect the data and will automatically populate that to your form. So you can answer questions and collect data from your chatbot. Now let's publish that. So we can access that bot using link like so, but more interesting, you can embed that into your website. You just need to paste this code, I believe to header section of your website. If you're using WordPress, there are plenty of plugins that will help you to do so. And then you will have this chat widget popping at the bottom right corner of your website. That's a great feature. Okay, moving to the conclusion. I think AI table is a solid competitor to Airtable. I can't say that it is a different competitor to HubSpot or Monday.com, but anyway, you will be able to set up your lightweight CRM system to manage your clients, leads. You will be able to manage your tasks there and you will be able to organize your data in any form and shape of a spreadsheet. There are a lot of pre-built templates, which is really nice and will help you start quicker. Overall, I was amazed by the complexity and the quality of this software. Not so often this kind of well-established software hits up some more, and I think it is a solid deal. All right, so the link to this tool will be in the description. Please give this video a like and subscribe for more similar videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.